It is 76 degrees here at Lowe's and no one is here and they're not playing music. They're selling a lot of geraniums. This is a really pretty color. I don't have this. I'm a little worried about the winter though. Begonias. Potato vines. Lots of petunias. I don't think I've seen the pansies yet again. That's weird. I am here in search of... That's a beautiful hibiscus. Um, Uh-oh. I forgot what I'm in search of. Coleus. Oh, I think I want another bougainvillea. I do. I do want another one, even though I'm going to be taking off soon. Beautiful crepe myrtle. Oh, look at those prices, those guys. Oh, oh, oh no, no, no. $37. I told you I'm at Lowe's, right? Oh, here's another pretty one. Sweet baby. Here's some smaller ones. The ones out front are about 37 bucks. This is a pretty color. The, uh, what do you think about that? That's pretty. These are Texas Sage. What are these? Something similar. Lynn's Legacy Sage, aren't those pretty? Little trumpet vines, like I have. Bees love them, obviously. There's another boom bee. That's a sweet color. Is it the same color, just in a different light? $23. Uh, you know, I got mine for $12 on sale. It's exactly the same, it's just in the sun. Something about bougainvillea in the sun, you know what I'm saying? Oh. Another trumpet vine, or Tacoma, as they call them. This is a pretty one. I was thinking I wanted Bells of Fire. I was thinking I wanted a red one. Oh, isn't that pretty for $20? I saw that on somebody's gardening uh, Facebook page and I was like, oh, I want that. This is the sparklet, which I have. I do want that red. Mm -mm -mm. I need to wash my budget right now. A lot of these are succulents. I'm gonna get pretty cold in a, one of our frosts, which we're warming up again, so. Plants are happy about that. Let's see if they've got anything on clearance that looks like a bougainvillea. Lots of petunias on clearance. Asiatic lilies, geraniums. Hmm, marigolds. I know what that is, but what are they calling it now? calling it well they're calling it something else <clears throat> petunias some triad celosia some indoor plants that it's kind of cold for the indoor plants out here so no guy no no boo can be on sale <clears throat> This wispy little guy. Some kind of cedar, Deodora. Look at this Akatia, not in bloom. Man, you're really gonna want one of those phantom willow, Wilson olive. Chinese elm. Oleanders, big ones. There's that beautiful pink. Oh, and that Tacoma, that Tacoma. So pretty. I'm gonna have to have that one. Crazy. 
country. Marvelous, they're beautiful, but not for $30. dollars not understanding why the price of those is so high. Pretty geranium. It's almost a lavender over, I mean, it seems so pretty. Never had one that color, I don't think. Here they are again. Spades. Lots of red geraniums. These are adorable. What are they? They look like dahlias, don't they? Oh, man, I'm having bad luck with birds. What is it about me and birds? It is a dahlia. Where'd he go? He's behind me. Oh, God. I hope he doesn't die of me again. Here's this pretty red lantana. Bloomify red. I love the red lantana. Pentas. I had some of this last summer. So beautiful. Calabrocoa. Straw flowers. Aren't those gorgeous? More Calabrocoa. Sort of mixed colors in the container. Very nice. So pretty. nervous about this bird. It's a loud one. Hibiscus, not in bloom. This is gardenias. For some reason I ended up filming the ground in the parking lot and my feet after that. At any rate, I gave up, left home uh, Lowe's, not finding what I wanted or that I can't live without. And then, you know, I popped into Home Depot, which is a uh, you know, a few blocks away from my home. I do have to narrate over here because they were playing music and I, I made a beeline for the Bougainvillea. They're pretty, but they were at least 22 bucks, 25 bucks for those. And I loved this red. I was very attractive, but these are rather large. I don't really need a big one. I'm coming from having bought each of mine on clearance in Tucson for I believe it was four dollars each so why don't I don't want to spend 30 and 40 and I don't want a really big one I have time for it to grow a lot of the colors the reds seem very similar to each other here's me just loving loving them so much trying to decide if there was one I couldn't live without Long story short, there was one I decided I had to have, and not that beautiful red one either. That's actually a Barbara Karst, which I already have. For some reason, it's just more red there in the store, or from the uh, straight from the grower. Beautiful oleander. This was called Alexandra, which had a, a red tone to it. I. You know, I was torn. Do I want an oleander that's completely different? Yeah, I saw that one up at uh, Savano in Tucson. I, I might still possess that, but then I was attracted to these, and I wasn't attracted to the price as much. But, yeah, I was going to leave with one of those, you betcha. And I turned around and I saw these beautiful big tall ones but they didn't really fit in my car and again I didn't really need anything that full grown I am going into winter and look at the little baby bougainvilleas for about 11 bucks yes that's 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 my jam, that's my roll, that's my price point. They were tiny, but I am in possession of one of them. 
The little ones for 11 bucks were all the same. They are Barbara Karst. I already had one. I was looking for the one that had the blooms. You know how it is, you pull one out and that's the one that doesn't have the blooms. And I kept looking for the right one, worried about snagging my shirt. And I got it. I got the right one. So cute, so petite, so, you know, hopeful. You know what I mean? I mean, there's, it's got potential. And he came home with me. And that's not all that jumped into my cart. Turns out, a little proven winner, Super Tunia, Black Cherry Petunia, jumped into my cart. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. And it came home with me, too. Because proven winners. And also, look at the beauty of that. Exactly the same color as that one, but man, that is so nice. Not sure when I'm gonna plant them tomorrow. Not today, I don't think. Look at this. Look at that color. As they start to open, they're a little bit orange. Oh, it's um, iridescent. Iridescent. Mm -mm -mm. Do they make me look good or do I make them look bad? <laughs> That's it for me today. I want to go watch Expedition Bigfoot. New season. I didn't even know. I'm here for it. Oh, this is a pretty shot. Hang on. I can't tell if that's coming out in the camera from what I see. Let me back up a little bit. Is that coming out? the various colors of the zinnias and that little pot of zinnias has really done well. I probably need to deadhead a few of those. Talk to you guys soon.